Island habitats have served as nature's evolutionary testbed since the dawn of the theory of evolution itself. From the Galapagos to Madagascar, the restricted size and boundaries of island habitats generate unique selective pressures that drive evolution to dramatic ends. Small animals lack the predatory threats and interspecies competition which hinders the growth of their continental relatives. Many grow to enormous size. Take the giant marine iguanas of the Galapagos Islands. Left to evolve on the Galapagos for the past 10 million years, they have become the only species of iguana adapted to a marine environment on the planet. The dark tone of their skin allows them to rapidly absorb heat, minimizing periods of lethargy upon emerging from the sea. Their flattened tails and dorsal fin help them glide through the water, while their long, sharp claws are perfect for latching onto rocks amid strong tidal currents. Millions of years of secluded evolution have resulted in another behemoth as well, the giant Galapagos tortoise. Weighing up to 417 pounds and living up to 170 years, these animals have diverged enormously from their continental counterparts. Restricted gene flow between islands has allowed these enormous shelled beasts to adapt uniquely to their own respective habitat. On Santa Cruz Island, which consists of low-lying vegetation, the tortoises have evolved domed shells and short necks. On Espanola Island, where low-lying food is scarce and more difficult to reach, the animals have evolved saddleback shells and longer necks. If island species have the capacity to evolve at such remarkable rate, it stands to reason that mainland species do as well. Habitat destruction and climate change are dramatically reshaping the boundaries on the mainland, generating new isolated regions which resemble island habitats in their own right. Accordingly, the study of adaptation and survival of species on islands may prove invaluable for determining how mainland species will adapt to these changes.